Drop moose off at game. Check. Go grocery shopping. Check. Pick up dry cleaning. Check. Use lint from dryer to restuff throw pillows. Check. Remind Pepper Ann to clean her junk out of the glove compartment. Can't talk, Janie. Running late. A million things to do. Oh, how many times do I tell that girl to lock the door when she leaves? That is so dangerous, Lydia. I mean, what have you got weirdos? Oh, no. Anything but that. I've got to get back over to the park to pick up Moose at the... Ah! Ah! Lydia, are you all right? What on Sam's green earth? <laughs> Pepper Ann, are you in here? I said she couldn't go out until she cleaned up this pigsty. <laughs> Stop! One side, Janie. I've got 20 minutes to make 30 sandwiches for Moose's post-rugby potluck. Watch out for flying mayo. Lydia, you haven't had a vacation since we took that bus to see David Cassidy play Phoenix back in 71. Now, I've got a friend who runs a health spa up in Walnut. Go and treat yourself to a weekend of luxury. Relax. Time off. <laughs> Touch the egg salad and die. Oh, <laughs> Janie, that's ridiculous. What's so ridiculous? Everything doesn't have to be so black and white all the time. No, no, not if you're living on planet sunshine. But here, on Planet Single Working Mother, we don't have time for... Ooh, that's never good. Mom, it's time for a substantial increase in my allowance. Let's talk, Pepper Ann. P.S. We're almost out of pickles. But why not? Pepper Ann, we agreed that you would receive an allowance, i.e. money, in exchange for doing your chores, i.e. work, correct? Well, yeah, but... And unless I'm mistaken, I haven't seen you do any work around here since you built that pillow fort on your bed when you were seven. Actually, that was more of a pillow ship than any... You're lucky I don't lower your allowance, miss. Until you assume some responsibility around here, there is no way in Hades you're getting a dime more. Nothing. No dinero. Zilch. Zero. So, what are you saying? Don't look at me. She's your daughter. That's it? Don't I even get to say something in my own defense? Well? Oh, you mean right now? <sighs> Pepper Ann, there are rules of this house that you have to abide by. Well, look at your sister. Somehow she manages to get all her chores done. <clears throat> Moose. Excuse me. Well, she burps all the time. What about that, huh? Your sister's table manners are not the topic at hand, young lady. Now, as long as you're living under my roof, you will follow my rules. Is that clear? Yes. I said, is that clear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Good. I'm a hard-working lala, and I don't get no dollar. Oh, I told those blood-sucking leeches I paid that parking ticket. Well, it was Tina's own fault. If she hadn't asked Rodney to the dance to make Randall jealous, she wouldn't have two dates. Please, Gina, just for tonight. Peppy, I thought Mom said you had to polish the silver. Man, what's with everyone? Who cares if the spoons are shiny or not? Like, anyone really notices that stuff anyway. <laughs> I mean, besides you, Nikki. Girls, I'm home! She'll have to call you back. Hi, Moose. Hi, Pepper. And that's the last one. Oh, hello. Didn't hear you come in. I guess I was too busy. Polishing. Guess what I just got in the mail. It wasn't my fault. It said 11 CDs for a penny, but they kept sending me more and... I've been summoned for jury duty. Just like that Polly Shore movie. <sighs> As if there isn't enough to do. Well, why don't you just throw it away? That's what Dad always does. Well... Now, girls, what your father does is horribly illegal. Now, jury duty may not be convenient or fun, but it's every person's civic responsibility to report when summoned. You have to go to the courthouse tomorrow morning to be interviewed to see if you'll be a fit juror. Can I tell people you're in jail? No. Please? 
Have you or has anyone in your family ever been arrested? Oh, goodness, yes. Do you follow politics? I see you. <laughs> Are you registered to vote? Yes. Yes, Your Honor, I am. And so is Bertram. Isn't that right, Bertram? I told you we'll talk about it when we got home. Do you read many books? <laughs> well, only if the VCR instruction manual counts as a book. <laughs> you 12 have been chosen out of the, oh, countless many that were interviewed here today. The case you're going to hear is a very serious one. We anticipate having to sequester you away from the general public for at least a couple of days, allowing you to reach a verdict without being subjected to any outside opinions or influences. They expect me to drop everything for Mary knows how long. Never mind that I have a family to take care of and a job not to get fired from. Those bureau crats. Janie, would you do me a favor and watch the girls for a few days? Well, you know, normally I would love to help out, but uh, Ned, Jojo, and I are leaving for Walnut Hot Springs tomorrow. It just sounded so good when I was telling you about it. And... Looks like I have no other choice. Lydia, darling! What have I done to make you hate me so? Oh, Mom, that is ridiculous. You only call me when you want something. It's my fault. I was too indulgent with you. Are those my little granddaughters? Oh, what kind of crazy fun we're going to have, like a regular Aaron Spelling TV show, huh? Huh? Yeah. Woo-woo. Fun TV show. Well, I've got to get going. Goodbye, girls. Oh, I'll miss you so much. Is this absolutely necessary? Take me with you. Now, you listen to Grandma, all right? I'll call every chance I get. Now, Mom, I've left a list of people to call in case you need anything, all right? A list of phone numbers and... Ah, I raised you and your sister without any cockamamie lists. Well, now we call poison control centers instead of telling someone just to go outside and eat grass. Did you throw up the shampoo or not? Okay, sounds like it's all under control. Running late, gotta go. Bye! Well... Bye. Wait, where are you going? Cocoon Gables. There's a big canasta game. Don't wait up. But who's going to be in charge of us? You got it, Schnackle. Don't hate yourself. Did you hear that, Moose? Grandma left me in charge. In charge! Yeah, she also left her teeth. We are inside the freshest stylinest pad on the continent with the person who's been left in charge of it all, Pepper Ann Pearson. As you can see, Rowan, I don't believe in setting rules. I like my fresh pad to be open, inviting. Like an unruly frat house? Turn me on, turn me off. I am a lamp. Woo! Free. In closing, I'd like to restate the plain, hard facts of this case. The defendant is charged with willful destruction of public property for spitting in an ATM vestibule. The security camera caught him red-handed on tape. It is up to you, you, the jury, to make sure that he does not get the chance to commit this most vile and heinous crime again. And may I remind whoever's been helping themselves to the non-dairy creamer, it's for employees only. Thank you. Dinner is served. Okay, do you want to play Warmonger on the Fun Station 8000 we rented? Or do you want to watch the horror flick, I still saw what you did when you thought I wasn't looking, but I really was this winter? I want more. Both it is. Uh, can you believe how hot it is? Can we get someone to check if the air conditioner is working? So, what do you think of the trial? Well, I think pretty open and shut if you ask me. At least it's not going to take a long time to reach a decision so we can all get back to our lives. I agree. The kid's clearly guilty. They got him spitting on the security tape, for crying out sakes. What more <laughs> evidence do we need? <laughs> then let's all take our seats and put this to a quick vote. Wonderful idea, Mr. Foreman. I've got opera tickets for tonight. Mm hmm Guilty. 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 Not guilty? Guilty! No, no. What simpleton voted not guilty, huh? 
Who? The purpose of voting by secret ballot is to preserve anonymity. Whoever it is does not have to... It was me. I voted not guilty. How could you? Are you crazy? Look, I want to go home as much as the rest of you, but I'm not prepared to sentence some poor young man to a, a $50 fine and up to 40 hours of community service without taking a little time to consider it first. <laughs> oh, Riverdale, less tenors three. <laughs> Go away! Pepper Ann will be right back on Toon Disney. Where are you going, Grandma? Great showing of the fuzzy Terra picture show. Night! Night! That's it for me. I'm beat. Yeah, me too. We better clean all this up right now before we go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Peppy. Now, the defendant testified he had just come back from hiking at nearby Mount Cadamia with a friend. He stopped to get some cash at the ATM so he could buy some water at the nearby Mini Mart while his friend waited in the car. <laughs> what is so funny? I was just remembering one time when I was taking my daughters to the zoo. <laughs> it was terribly hot that day, and I was waiting in the car for Peppy, m my oldest, to come back with some waters. Well, I was dehydrating in that hot sun for half an hour. I finally went in to see what happened, and there she was, playing a game of Crunch Pod. I mean, she had lost track of time. Well, you to... just get on with it. Well, I know I was turning to jerky just from sitting in the sun. Doesn't it seem odd the defendant would have enough excess saliva rolling around in his mouth after a day of hiking in the sun to hock a loogie in the ATM vestibule? Look, the security camera has it on tape. We saw it in the courtroom. His friend testified that the defendant has had problems with authority figures and abiding by the rules in the past. He said that the defendant has told him, quote, Sometimes when there's a line ahead of me at the ATM, I get so mad I could spit. End quote. Yes, if I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Fine. Why don't we take another vote? But this time, I won't vote. <gasps> if everyone else votes guilty, then I'll change my vote and we'll be done with this whole thing. If not, we pick it up again in the morning. We better clean all this up right now before we go to bed. <laughs> oh. I am in the Pearson residence for this living in your own filth special report. Pepper Ann, is it true you were left in charge of a house only to turn it into oh. this perverse chamber of horrors? Hey, are you that Alec Trebek from the TV? Are you? Huh? He wishes he was. Just a step to the right. You need to mellow out. Forget about this stupid stuff and concentrate on something else, like Craig at swim practice today. Good morning, everyone! I sense hostility in the air. May I remind you that the cheese, meaning me, no longer stands alone? What? She made some sense. I go hiking. I don't have spit for days. We put in a call about the air conditioning. No one can get down here to fix it until tonight. Oh, oh that was good. Right. You know, I didn't sleep very well last night. <laughs> I was thinking about the time Peppy put gum in Moose's hair and ruled her in... No! no! Okay, all right, sorry. I was also thinking about that security camera tape. Could we take a look at it again? Yes, let's, so we can finally put an end to this ridiculousness. <sighs> Peppy made me eggs. <laughs> What's going on? There. Just had to clean a little. You know, get it out of my system. Oh. We'd better get dressed for school. Here. Judging. That's right, Moosey. No same old boring, lame, homemade lunch for us. Today, we'll be buying our lunch. <laughs> Don't call me Moosey. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is, in black and white, plain as a nose on your face. Hey, it's working! Oh, <sighs> yeah! <sighs> 
nothing like grilled ahi, steamed carrots, and chai to boost mind and body. See ya, Nikki. I'm off to buy my lunch with Milo. Ta! This is so cool. No dumb brown paper bag slowing me down. No pesky vitamins and minerals trying to worm their way in. School lunch avoids that nutritional, ooh, I'm a growing kid stuff. Which is all just a fad, if you ask me. If it ain't deep fried, it ain't going inside. Right, PA? Yes! <laughs> Margaret Rose Pearson, report to the principal's office immediately. Wary nutritional lunch of grilled ahi, steamed carrots, and chai has been dropped off for you by your older sister, who fears that your growing bones will not get the vitamins and minerals needed to flourish. Seventy-nine degrees. Yes! I don't mean to be a bother, but is there any point to this at all? Section 36 of the City Council laws require all banking establishments to keep their vestibules at a comfortable 74 degrees. That it was five degrees hotter in the vestibule the defendant was in, plus the fact that he had been hiking all day, leads me to just one possibility. Which is? That the fluid in the videotape was not saliva, but a big bead of sweat flying off the defendant's upper lip. Looks to me like it could be sweat. Oh, thank Fuzzy, you're okay. I was worried sick. Are you hurt? Where were you? At rugby practice, like I am every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Moose, I want you to call me every day and tell me where you're going, who you're going to be with. Why? Mom never makes me call. I think someone's forgetting who Grandma left in charge. She's watching soap operas in Mom's room if you want to ask her yourself. We have nine votes for not guilty and three votes for guilty. Why don't we just declare ourselves a hung jury? They'll retry the case with a new jury and we can all go home. I am sorry. I cannot be party to that. It is our civic duty to resolve this case and reach a verdict. All right, all right. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Jeez. Moose, time for dinner. What's for dinner, Peppy? Burgers? Hoagies? Pizza's always good. What movie should we rent? Surprise! I made dinner tonight. And I don't think we'll have time for a movie tonight. Here, I was in math class and I couldn't stop thinking about how much work there is to be done around here. Work? Peppy, you hate doing work. But I know we'd enjoy our newfound freedom much more if we worked to keep our house and bodies in tip-top shape so we're not living in our own filth. Understand? No. Oh, but what about the defendant's reputation for having a problem with rules? That's true. The friend testified that the defendant had said ATMs made him so mad he could spit. Though it was obviously just an expression. At some point, everyone says things they don't mean. The bottom line is that the defendant's reputation speaks for itself. What reputation? It seems the only thing the defendant is guilty of is being young. The most young people are headstrong and rebellious. Take Peppy, for example. I couldn't get that girl to follow my rules if I sat on her. But she means well and would never destroy public prop. That's all fine and dandy for living on planet sunshine. But in the real world, it's all loogies and lawlessness. What is your problem? Give the kid a break. Everything isn't so black and white all the time. Of course it is. There are rules we have to abide by, whether we like it or not. No exceptions. We can make an example of this kid. Yes, we can send a message to other potential lawbreakers and say, not on my turf, buddy. Not on my turf. You shouldn't be on a jury, lady. You should be leading an angry mob with torches and pitchforks. What do you know about it, huh? I spit on you. I spit on you. <laughs> you don't really mean that, do you? Not guilty. 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 How about now? I still see some lint in the corners. Grandma, Peppy's gone crazy. That's nice, my little bubbler. How about the scotch candy from my price? Moose! I'm not hearing the vroom vroom of the vacuum! Forget it, Peppy. I'm not gonna do all that stuff. Mom doesn't make me, and she's the boss of me. Not you.
Mom put Grandma in charge, and Grandma put me in charge. And as long as you're living under my roof, you'll do as I say. You're gonna have to make me. Here comes the shove. Girls, I'm home! Oh, I've missed you girls so much! I missed you a lot. Oh, me too. Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful job Grandma's done with the house. Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, where are you going? To Nikki and Milo's to see if they're up for some crunch pot at Brain Dead and some grubbing at the green tea. Oh, oh, oh no, young lady. You're not going to go out this late on a school night. There are rules that have to be followed around here without exception. You never let me have any fun. Well, as long as you're living under my roof. <sighs> oh, wasn't that fabulous? I'm so calm and relaxed. Did he just spit at us? I couldn't tell. Looks like it could be sweat to me.